Well, welcome back. We're at uh, Quat at the food stock. And look at this, not one, but two of these Triumph Speed 400s. And I have to say, They look fabulous, don't they? I like that blue, that blue's a nice colour. They're cracking little bike for five grand, aren't they? And a zero. Blimey. I'm not a fan. Do you like the old CBX there? Eh? That's a nice bit of kit. Welcome back. Just been to the food stop at, at, on the Quat on the Bridge North Road. Now we're heading back towards Kidonsta. I'm going on a little history quest today. And we're going to turn off into one of the villages along here and go in search of some evidence of the plague, the Black Death. And it's one of those things, it's a, it's a it's a bit of an insignificant thing. If you passed it, you wouldn't even know it was there. And I love the fact that in the UK we've got these little bits of history all over the place. Got a man holding in plain sight. To get a little bit of context, the Black Death in the 14th century wiped out approximately a third of the population of Europe. Particularly bad in certain places. I suppose the most well known in the UK is probably the village of Ean in Derbyshire. Which is 
Company Line Main Fix Association and the Reverend Mompesson and what have you. But this is a lesser known story. Um, but nevertheless, I hope you found it interesting. Just coming into the village of Alderley. Yeah. And this is where we're going to turn off. It's a nice look, but it's pretty unremarkable, this, this end is obviously the end, the newer end of the village, shall we say. As well with most things, it's grown over the years. centre which is the older bit of the village as you can see from the properties now the church What we're coming to look at, and what I want to go and have a look at, is uh, a little way out of the village. And that over there is Hoyley, which in between us and Hoyley is the River Severn. So we're sort of on the edge of the Severn Valley. The 
yeah, as I say, there's a reason why the thing we're coming to look at is over a mile outside of the village. People out walking today, we've got dogs and people and oh push bikes and more dogs and all sorts of things going on. So like the M25 down here. See the river, it's in that it's in that little fold down there. Nice and gravity around here. Yeah, we're, we're just over a mile outside the village here and what we've come to see, what we've come to look at is this odd shaped post Post is called the Butter Cross, and normally you'd find a Butter Cross in the centre of a town or a village, um, and it'd usually be where there was a market of some sort. But this one sits a mile outside of the village, and the story is that. In the 14th century, this was used as a boundary marker during the plague, where local could leave, locals could leave goods for other people to come in and pick up and leave money, and vice versa, so people could leave stuff here, pay for it, and go back. So the village was effectively quarantined. And I believe that it was about 60% of the village population died of the plague. So this has been here for about 650 years. And it's well weathered. You can see the lichen and stuff growing on it. But if I, t I don't know how well you'll make this out. But there is actually the shape of a Maltese cross. So this is sort of uh, quite a Celtic style design of things. 
and again you can just make it out I don't know how well it'll come across on video but if I trace it out with my finger you might just make it out but I'll just take 650 years worth of uh, weather has taken its toll and I know at one time I think they had to shore it up because it was it was leaning over there's old Tonka or Big Bertha as she's named as I say ever since you ever since I bought it being bright yellow I've always thought it looked like a Tonka toy so Put the stickers on but yeah that's the butter cross so 650 years it's been here and it was uh, a boundary marker for people to leave goods and pick goods up which just goes to show you that lockdowns are nothing new we've had them before Although I think it was probably slightly more serious back then. So yeah, she passed her uh, she passed her MOT yesterday with no advisories, which I was mighty pleased about. And for anybody who's not in the UK, an MOT is their annual certificate of safety for road vehicles that we have to have every year on vehicles that are three years old or more Right, so that's the butter cross. Oh, in Shropshire. A little bit of evidence of a dark past, a bubonic plague. So I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for coming along with me. I do like a little bit of history. So I shall bid you all farewell. Thank you once again for joining me. Hope you'll all come back for another uh, ride out one of the days. Until then, take care and I will see you in the next one.